If you've traveled to remote places of the world before, then you'll be used to meeting some pretty creepy creatures along the way. Join us as we have a look at some of the scariest animals in the tropics. Titanoboa Luckily for us, the Titanoboa doesn't exist anymore, but it definitely deserves a spot on our list as the lord of the jungle during its reign. And a pretty scary one at that. There was very little that stood a chance against this massive predator. The Titanoboa, or Titanboa, was the largest snake ever, and the worst part of it all is that snakes may be able to get this large once again, and the discovery of a 40-foot long fossil may give some insight into the future of snakes themselves. If they're anything like this thing, then it's sure to be a terrifying one. Now if you're afraid of snakes, don't venture into the tropics anytime soon, because there are plenty of deadly ones waiting to strike. We still have to be concerned with anacondas residing in the tropics, but the largest one ever measured was 33 feet long, so they haven't quite reached Titanoboa status yet. The Jaguar Some Native Americans referred to this giant cat as the God of the Night, and it's still best to stay away from these amazing hunters. Since we aren't all that clever at coming up with names, we just changed the Native American word Jaguar to Jaguar but it roughly translated to, he who kills with one leap. One interesting thing about these tropic dwelling cats is that they're extremely silent and don't roar. So it's no wonder they're at the top of the food chain since they're nocturnal hunters that only seek their prey in the dark and are amazing swimmers being extremely silent. They may look beautiful, but these ferocious felines should never be approached in the wild. The Costa Rican Hairy Caterpillar don't be fooled by this adorable little furry guy, because he has no character like the very hungry caterpillar. In fact, he's one of the most poisonous caterpillars in all of Costa Rica, so if you see a cute little fuzzy thing crawling around, we advise that you head in the opposite direction immediately. The locals believe that if a child touches it, it may result in dangerous amount of toxins that's going to require them to be hospitalized. The effects on an adult would be less staggering, but we imagine that they'd be just as painful. The Central American Giant Cockroach Ah yes, the lovely cockroach has giant brethren in the tropics. This would be one of the main reasons that we have no desire to vacation there anytime soon. This handsome little guy is considered one of the largest cockroaches in the world and the females can be up to 10 centimeters, while the males are just a little smaller, topping out at 7 and a half. These pests have adept hiding skills, and it can make them hard to be hunted since they can squeeze into tiny cracks without any issues. They can also fly, and have two pairs of wings on their back. But fortunately for us, the heavier females are unable to get off the ground. Scientists believe that they're also closely related to insects that existed 200 million years ago, which means that they can basically survive the apocalypse, and we have no desire to be anywhere near them anytime soon. Proboscis Monkey We kind of feel sorry for this wacky little monkey and aren't really exactly sure what happened to him. At first glance, it looks like he may have been part of a mad scientist's laboratory experiment gone horribly wrong or perhaps he even struck his nose somewhere that it didn't belong. However, it turns out that the nose is actually just part of the proboscis monkey's beautiful features. Theories suggest that the nose may actually help females during sexual selection. The females actually prefer louder vocalizations, and the monkeys with the largest noses seem to have the loudest calls. And you thought that large noses were unattractive. Apparently in the animal kingdom, it's quite the opposite. The Poison Dart Frog This is one pet frog that you don't want to have in your aquarium anytime soon. These are considered to be one of Earth's most toxic species. Now, just imagine that the golden poison dart frog has enough poison to kill 20,000 mice, and since they range in a variety of hard-to-miss colors like yellow, orange, red, green, and blue, they're easy to spot. The colors just serve as a warning to potential predators, so that they know that they shouldn't be eaten because they're toxic. It's still unknown how exactly the poison dart frog does get its toxin, but it's believed that it may be because of the insects that they eat. The Bullet Ant 
It may look like another harmless little ant, but don't let it fool you. This guy gets his name from the insurmountable pain that it delivers if it stings you. The pain is caused by a toxic sting and is reported to be greater than anything that you've ever experienced and was once ranked as the most painful. According to a Schmidt Sting Pain Index, this index would be created by an entomologist by the name of Justin O. Schmidt, and he's been stung more than 1,000 times by at least 83 different species, and they weren't all on purpose. Some victims claim that the pain of the bullet ant sting is equal to being shot. The symptoms are waves of burning, throbbing, all-consuming pain that can last for up to 24 hours. So it looks like we'll definitely be staying clear of any ant hills if we visit the tropics. The Brazilian Wandering Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider, classified under the genus Phonutria, translates to murderous in Greek, and it seems pretty fitting for the most venomous spider in the world. However, try not to be too alarmed because they'll only attack you if they're provoked. These arachnids get their interesting name since, unlike most spiders that build webs to snag helpless insects for dinner, they wander the forest floor instead of actively hunting prey at night. Their daytime hours are spent hiding under logs, waiting until the sun sets in order to catch their food. They've been known to go after other spiders, and sometimes even small amphibians, like reptiles and mice as well, that are wandering about unsuspecting of any lurking danger. These bites can deliver a powerful amount of toxin to humans, which are unlikely to kill them if they receive the anti-venom in time. The symptoms are quite uncomfortable, including severe burning at the site of the bite, sweating, goosebumps, and within 30 minutes, other symptoms can incur, including high or low blood pressure, changes in heartbeat, nausea, hypothermia, vertigo, convulsions, and excessive sweating associated with shock. But perhaps one of the most uncomfortable symptoms that occurs in males is that one of these bites can deliver a long, painful erection, since the venom delivers a boost of nitric oxide, which helps to increase blood flow. It's even been suggested by scientists to use the venom and incorporate it in drugs for erectile dysfunction. Who says that one of the most venomous spiders on Earth, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, can't help mankind in the most unlikely way possible? The Black Cayman If you're a fan of alligators, then you'll definitely appreciate this terror living in the tropics. The Black Cayman is the largest species of the alligator family, and it can grow up to 20 feet in length, which is a truly frightening thing to think about. They're also amazing at blending in with their environment due to their dark color, and most of the time the prey never sees them coming since they're extremely sneaky nocturnal hunters. Black caimans are pretty much at the top of the food chain for their environment as adults, although they do have to worry about jaguars from time to time. But sadly, their biggest predators are actually humans who hunt them for their leather and their meat. Black caimans eat fish, including piranha and catfish, but they also eat land-dwelling animals like deer who come too close to the water's edge for a drink. The larger specimen of black caimans can take down anacondas, and they don't use their teeth to bite animals, but instead are designed to grab a hold of their prey and drown them. That way they can eat the whole thing in one bite. And if you've never seen a black caiman eat an anaconda whole, it's quite a show that you'll probably be disturbed by for the rest of your life, so we're warning you before you put it into a YouTube search. The Axolotl If there's one strange and almost mythical-like creature in the tropics, then it has to be an axolotl, otherwise known as the Mexican walking fish. Looks can be rather deceiving when it comes to this scary-looking creature, since he's not a fish, but actually an amphibian. The term axolotl comes from the Aztec language, and most likely connects to the god of deformations and death. The A would be added later, so it roughly translates to water dog. These creatures are extremely fascinating not just because of their strange appearance, but also because they have the ability to regenerate, and they remain in their larval form throughout their lives. Sometimes they even keep their gills indefinitely. If they are injured or happen to lose a limb, they're able to completely regrow a new one or heal themselves over time. 
They're also unusual among amphibians since they reach adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. This means that adults can remain aquatic and gilled, or choose to live above water and adapt by changing to be able to survive on land with the use of lungs. The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko If there's any name deserving of something that it vaguely resembles, it's definitely this creature. These geckos have the remarkable ability to mimic a leaf, so we'll ignore the fact that it looks like it could be the mascot for your local satanic cult. They may look scary, but they're pretty harmless during the day. They tend to be nocturnal reptiles with large eyes, which makes them perfect for tracking down and feeding on insects at night. They also have adhesive scales under their toes and fingers, so that they can quickly move through trees. These geckos have a few tricks up their sleeves as well in order to avoid being caught by predators, including their amazing ability to camouflage. The tropical tricksters were once highly sought after by hobbyists, but the pet trade then began to threaten the existence of the unusual creatures. However, you can still purchase one, but they live up to 10 years old and require a lot of care, so it's not a pet for your 5-year-old child. The Rhinoceros Hornbill this scary-looking bird may look like it went through a rare genetic mutation and has an extra beak on the top of its head, but we promise that it's just looks and it's totally normal. Interestingly enough, the bird shares quite a lot in common with the harosaurs from 6 million years ago, including a cask that may have functioned in the same way. The cask on its head is an ornament that looks a lot like a second bill. These are actually made of the same materials as our fingernails and start out as being white in color. However, after years of rubbing the cask on a particular oil gland under the bird's feathers, it changes to a striking red. Its main feature is to be used as a way to amplify its calls, since it's actually hollow inside. The female must trust the male to provide her with everything she needs when incubating and raising the chicks, and it stays inside of the trees with the nest while the male brings back food. The male will also enclose the female inside of the tree, leaving a very small hole to put the food through, all in an effort to protect her and the chicks from predators. This has been a look at some of the scariest and strangest animals in the tropics. Which ones did we leave off of our list, and which were your favorite? Let us know all about it in the comments below, and thanks for watching. The Striped Surgeonfish now don't be fooled by the name of this fish, because it's certainly not here to help you. The striped surgeon fish, also known as doctor fish, and clown surgeons are incredibly dangerous, and pack a nasty punch that your doctor may not even be able to fix for you, even with the best anti-venom that money can buy. These fish are also known to be territorial, choosing one particular location.